We're back with Sir Spook. This will be 22 to 12. Yeah, 22 to 12. Let's just start it. No long intro, just right into the video itself. Jumping back to TikTok again. The following video was published to the platform by John Vasquez 54. Oh, Vasquez. Who says mm, that I know, he I know a John Vasquez. On his cousin's trail cam. He says that he captured proof that there is something out there we don't know about. My cousins on the trail cam? Not long after the recording of the Free video home begins, Alabama. We can see a strange looking figure looming behind a deer before vanishing out of frame seconds later. The man filming sounds completely baffled by this and freaked out. What the fuck is that? That is fucking creepy. Oh. What the hell? Judging by the looks of it, this figure sort of resembles that of the Flatwoods Monster, a folkloric creature that resides in West Virginia. The creature allegedly first appeared on the night of September 12th, 1952, after a reported sighting of a bright object flying over the sky. Like what do you think was captured on this train Mario camp Goombas that night? Are, like, stacked up was each it other other than the Flatwoods monster or was it something else? Be sure Goombas. to leave all of your thoughts in the comment section below. Goombas. Goombas. On January 1st, YouTuber Zach McGlone captured something terrifying while More shooting a woods. video out in a dark forest at his farm in Australia. What's up, we got forests? The video cuts in in the middle of hey, the action. Hey, we're in the forest. That's what the says. Someone heard yelling stop multiple times in a row. And then, this happens. Sammy, what was that? What was that? What was that? Sammy, what was that? Wait, did you see that? Let's watch this one more time, but with the footage enhanced. So. It's Sasquatch. That is so Sam fake. that he saw a Yaoi on this particular night. A Yaoi? A Yaoi is an Australian cryptid that is believed to live oh. in the Oh. It is described as a hairy and ape-like creature and is anywhere between 2.1 meters and 3.6 meters tall. God Many damn. Many people compare to that of the elusive Bigfoot. By all accounts, the figure spotted by Sam seems to match up with people's descriptions of Yaoi sightings fairly well, except for its height, perhaps, which doesn't seem to be quite as tall as some people's It's a man. A so what do you guys think? Did Sam McClone oh, it's a man a suit. on camera? It's a man a suit. Was this all just one big hoax? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. They have a camera on their dashboard. They're YouTubers. They're trying to get clicks and likes. They're trying to get their RPM and CPM up. Because ain't nobody to... Oh my, oh my god! Oh my, it's, it's, what is that? What, what is that? And drop their phone deliberately and pick it up and... Oh my god! Oh, oh my, oh my god! No, that's... They're deliberately messing that up purposely to whatever. And it, it's all is the man just, just running like that, like with his arm up to make it look like or whatever. If it was a scared animal with all that... Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That fucker would be sprinting or going towards them to attack. So end at 6'11", 12 feet tall, to be scared of humans, which average height are like 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, Come on, bitch please, this is fake. Over on the Sir Spook subreddit, user Nando Perez uploaded a video of an extremely bizarre Zoom class call. Zoom is a place for millions of people to hold meetings with colleagues. Teachers can teach their students there and many more. Capturing creepy events is typically not something people do on the app. With the exception of this video, okay. take a look at the creepy footage. Let me see the creepy footage. <laughs> Someone's trying to do push-ups and just like walking with it. 
Oh, bitch. Hell no. Hell. The ghostly face peering in at the man from the start captured his attention because he eventually tilts his camera in the exact same spot where the figure was just moments earlier. Just when the man thinks that there is nobody there and starts to resume his call, the figure can be seen again crawling on the floor and moving around for a few seconds, disappearing and reappearing numerous times. It's like, it's like trying to hide. It is entirely possible that this could be a home intruder lurking around his house. The home but intruder? It could also be that of a ghost or some sort of entity. Regardless the home intruder of whether or not this figure is a person like a or a spirit, decent. this is certainly something that like you would not want to see roaming off. around your house. Do you think that this is a person or a ghost? Is this even a real video or is it all fake? Be sure to tell me your opinion in the comments. Like my orgasms. Angel Martinez posted this video to her YouTube channel in June of 2021 and starts and walkers. off simple enough. Angel and her friend are driving around late at night in what seems to be some sort of dark and untraveled area at this time of night. Like However, their typical nightly drive is interrupted when they start to notice something strange. It's a crocker. Too far off in the distance. Upon mm. close inspection, they start to realize that they are not the only ones out on the road after all. Compare our parents. Right there. Yeah, hey, walkers! There's more? I see you. Come and wait. What the f? That's it right there, huh? Mm -hmm. What is that? It's fucking scary. In the middle of nowhere. How f weird. How f weird is that? Girl, how much dust is in your car? Although it can definitely be a bit difficult to see because of how dark cow. it was at the time of the recording. If you look hard enough, you can definitely make out what appears to be some sort of tall, lanky figure roaming around outside, leading Angel to believe that she saw a skinwalker that night. Of course, everything is up to personal interpretation, but the description doesn't seem too far off from what a skinwalker looks like. Cow. However, we live in a day and age where it becomes easier to fake videos. A cow. So, what do you think? Is this genuine footage of a skinwalker? No, that's a fucking cow. Late at night. A fucking or cow. Is this just a fake? I'll let you be the judge. It's Doja Cat. Doja Cat. The Paranormies are a popular YouTube channel that sees the titular Paranormies. Paranormal investigative group heading out to various different places that are said to be haunted. In this particular video that was uploaded in November of 2021, the Paranormies head out to a house that is, you guessed it, supposedly haunted. When they take oh, wow. a stroll through so the interior, surprised. it is abundantly clear that the place has seen better days, and the sheer lack of sound alone would make most people who dare venture inside change their minds instantly. But not the Paranormies. At around the six minute mark, one of the crew members you know notices something rather disturbing in an adjacent room. What's that? It's a f***ing dead bird. Why make... You never said anything about... A haunted channel? A paranormal channel? Here. That was a new investigation with my friends. It should be called Para Homies. Get some toilet paper. Oh, oh wait. wait. Oh, they blurred it. That's disgusting. Oh, they blurred it. I don't know. Is that the window? Like, what the fuck am I looking at? Oh, those two fucking lights. I thought those was eyeballs looking in. Later. 
Later on, the group heads upstairs to conduct their investigation a bit further, which is when they hear something that practically freezes them in complete shock and awe. Who's that? Oh, you heard something? Yeah, the Iron Maiden shirt. Who's that? You heard something? You heard something? About 15 minutes later, they decide to set up a laser grid device to help see if there's anything malevolent in the room, as well as an EVP device. Mm -hmm. The results that they get is nothing short of chilling. Even when I said, okay, if the RAC, am I okay? Like, thank you. Like, I don't need you to. T1. What? Oh, shit. He got touched. Yeah, he got touched. What did you see? I heard the wrong A guy. shadow. Really? Rachel, are you right here? From in my here, room? This way? Like over this way or that way? Like Juice oh World? God. That was me. I had no idea what Johnny saw. He was standing in the kitchen. I was standing on the landing. And we were just talking about our Ouija board results. And he just took off like a bat out of hell at something in the living room. Yeah. And even halfway through Rachel, but it would stop yeah. like between the letters. Even when I said, okay, it's the RAC. Am I okay? Like, thank you. Like, I don't need you to. Mm. Mm. At this point, things are definitely starting to escalate for the group, but never What am I watching the original of this? To press on and move down to the basement, which proves to be just as creepy if not creepier than the upstairs floor. It does This guy has no personality. He has a heavy metal band shirt. Oh, imagine having a heavy metal shirt on from a band man has man has earrings like earrings really this man has earrings no personality man and a beard a man has no personality it doesn't take long for them to hear some strange noises once again as well as notice a bit of bizarre activity coming from the rem pod devices REM pod. I'm trying to get my REM sleep. I'm my left eye. I missed it, but... You heard that. Periodical. What does that mean? Periodical? The table? Is there something Elements? In the room? It's like a little tower. It knocks back. Yeah. Or a grenade in it. You heard that. Footsteps, Footsteps upstairs? I heard it. Ram pod. Mm hmm And then another one? This activity happening in this first floor? Yeah, first floor. Mm-hmm. Hurry. Just about a minute uh -huh. later, one of the men, Johnny, begins to hear mysterious tapping like noise coming from the kitchen while using a Ouija board. Well, uh, Johnny's or John's in this video. Truly eerie happens. I thought I'm trying to be. In my bed on my phone on my TikTok. I should be doing the same thing with my videos. I'm entering like a Dark Souls or Elden Ring boss battle. Light turned on.
is one of those you gotta hit the button for it so that thankfully okay. after this the paranormies decide to call it a day and end the investigation which was probably the wisest decision that they made that day who knows what dangers would have awaited them if they decided to stay even a few minutes longer. Some people went to Gettysburg, and at sunset they heard fife and drum music at a wheat field. In the description drum? they said, quote, Other than the occasional passing car, we were alone. We followed the intermittent sounds, but could not find anyone the evanescent the sounds? The music, always ahead of us, end quote. The video is almost 13 minutes long, and the music can be heard throughout. But not once do they locate the source of the sound. Oh, that's probably an area where, you know, soldiers has passed. That's when they go march. And then that's when everybody with the, the rifles, you know, they have to like that to you know, flip it over and like that and then load up the cannonballs and go back in there. It looks so wrong on camera. Muskets. That's the word. The muskets with a knife at the end. I mean, we wouldn't be the first Hold! One. Heard drums here. Aim! Come, but no people here. It's Fire! It's hard for me to believe I'm actually hearing it. <clears throat> yeah, that seems like it's up an area that a war happened. I heard whistling. Just was someone too. sitting in the dark playing music, or was it the ghost of the Battle of Gettysburg? If they really that is the why. ghost of the battle, then they've been roaming this area since 1863. It's a spooky and mysterious video that really makes you think. This next oh, video was uploaded by South Korean YouTuber Dduk Mikul. And of course, it has to be South Korea. I don't think there's any extremely run down in Korea area in North. that showcases just how brave and also dangerous he likes to live. He enters an abandoned house that is located in the area, and it doesn't take long at all for him to start experiencing just how eerie this particular house is. At around the three-minute mark, this can be heard. This is the guy who records like he's in. That one game. What do you say? Not even a full minute later, while looking at a window in a different area of the house, you can see something absolutely horrifying just outside that will surely cause you to lose some sleep tonight. I may record these videos like he's playing fucking Dishonored. Have you ever seen Dishonored? You should know what I'm talking about because he's just maneuvering like crazy. Oh, oh. Well. His hand. Oh, who is it? Wait a minute. About a minute later, the uploaders check the room and find some bed covers that he's about to pull off, just to make sure there's nobody hiding underneath them. Brother, and sure enough, I'm not looking. This happens. I'm not looking at that. I'm, I'm playing Dishonored real life. I'm gonna look at. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, oh! Thankfully, the uploader then makes it his number one goal to race outside as fast as he can to get away from the horrors of this house and manages to make it out in one piece. D Doc McCall is known for his like building exploration videos, but one can only hope that he never ventures back to this particular place again 
help us own safety. He will. It was Michael. On May 3rd, 2015, a YouTuber named Phil Kirk wow. published a video to his YouTube channel where he ventures out to an abandoned haunted house at an undisclosed location to have a look inside and documents the process for subscribers to watch and enjoy. Before Phil enters the building, he does look genuinely worried and a little bit anxious, which is interesting to note considering he does these kinds of videos on a frequent basis. Nevertheless, he musters up the courage and bravery to go inside. Once he enters, he reaches a staircase and asks if there's anybody inside. He probably wasn't expecting this to happen. And when it's time for you know a little bit of sexy time, I guess you could say you could feel his. I ain't gonna finish the sentence. Uh, TikTok will not like it. Bill, cock, K O C H. TikTok, YouTube. K O C H, cock. I'm trying to fill his. <clears throat> I don't know, bro. You go in that basement by yourself. Hello. Anybody in here? Hello. Anybody in here? Hmm, it's the same pitch and type of accent. As creepy as that strange voice calling out hello to Phil was, that was definitely not the scariest thing that happened to him during this particular day. He goes outside and enters the house through another entryway, which is when he points his camera at what appears to be the inside of the living room. It doesn't take long at all for something truly creepy to happen to Phil. Anybody in here? Hello? It's a big ass clock. Why is that clock? After this happens, Phil makes a speedy exit from the area, which is definitely understandable. Despite the fact that he uploads plenty of content related mm. to paranormal and abandoned building explorations, it doesn't seem as though he has ever revisited this location after this initial there was occurred. nobody behind it that's so a heavy they never know what lock. happened inside this abandoned house that day anybody at home anybody huh <gasps> shit when it fell it didn't make much of a big noise so i don't think it's that heavy i don't think it would be a string pulley system that could knock it down possibly because it seemed like that was made out of like thin wood and Maybe some type of thin plastic for the clock area. I don't know. That kind of, I don't know. That one didn't seem too real to me. That could have been easily staged, especially with the clock being directly towards the door. You can see the whole entire front. That kind of gave me a little skepticism. Yeah, I don't believe it's 100% true. What seems like a video of an average man laying down on his bed, perhaps relaxing or taking a nap, quickly turns into something hair raising and chilling. Take a look at this. Hicimos grabar ahorita porque se está escuchando algo en el closet. Dios mío, ¿qué es eso? ¿Hay alguien ahí? ¿Quieres algo? ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? No inventes. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? Se abrió, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió. Espérate, cálmate, cálmate, cálmate. ¿Hay alguien ahí? ¿Te podemos ayudar? Necesitas. Pero dónde al afa. Son de los. Dino, sí, ya se somó alguien. Alúsame, alúsame, alúsame. Espera. Espérate, alúsame. No hay nada, mira, no hay nada, no hay nada. At first, it seems as though a strange clicking or tapping sound is coming from inside the closet, which is definitely something that you would be concerned over. However, if that wasn't creepy enough, 
the closet door opening all by itself in the middle of your room would scare you silly. Of course. And the creepy figure inside the closet is terrifying enough to want any sane person to move out of their house immediately. We can only hope that Luan and his loved ones are safe and have gotten answers after oh. this video was published. Like fish head. After all, your home is said to be the safest place in the world. But videos like yeah, these like fish head. prove that anything could happen to you, regardless of where you are. That's a fish head. Remember everybody who are in the process of going through possibly a haunting. You have something these spirits don't have. Life. You're stronger than it. And I'm still be a bitch and run. You could prevail. If you don't be a bitch. Those are my words of wisdom. Don't be a bitch. And yeah. A woman on TikTok with the username Arm Sam, I guess, uploaded a total of four <laughs> videos recently that showcase some serious I guess she's Sam. activity happening. In the first video, we see the uploader roaming around a dark and eerie room. Other than its atmosphere, though, it doesn't appear to be anything too extreme. However, something happens shortly after that freaks the upload out. I know it's dark. I enhanced it as much as I could. Is that a piece of bread? In the second video, she explains that she was in the room earlier, saying that the lights aren't working at the moment, which is why it's so dark inside. She also shows a small pumpkin-shaped object and says it fell to the floor beforehand. However, while oh. something incredibly strange captures her full attention, leaving her totally speechless. This is the totally. room where we keep the food and stuff, and like the carts have like fudge on them or whatever. Um, I don't fudge know why shit. that thing fell earlier. I'm really. One there. The uploader, it seems as though the terror also follows her home, considering the events of the video that you are about to watch. At the start of the video, she says that she has been hearing tapping noises coming from somewhere inside her house. She then proceeds to walk into the living room, where she asks her family if they have been making the strange noises, at which point they tell her that they thought she was the one making the noises. She then walks into the bathroom and discovers that it seems to be coming from the shower. Are you guys tapping on something out here? Either something is attached to her or she has an item on her, like a necklace or a bracelet that's attached to her. Where is it? The shower. Oh, there's two ghosts clapping cheeks. The fourth and final video shows the TikToker sitting on the stairs talking to the spirit that may or may not be living in her house. Quote, so nah, since that's you a like couple. to slam doors in this house, do you think you could do it now? Unquote, she asks. A couple of seconds go by with complete silence, and then... Do you think you could do nah, there's it two ghosts giving now? the other ghosts a wicked back shot. Or back shots. No way. One thing that's evident from watching this uploader's videos is that she's definitely living with some sort of strange spirit. Mm. But whether or not it is There's harmful, towels just behind the door, so gets. that's what the little shadow. TikTok can one day go about her life living in peace and not in fear. This girl needs to go to a church, just belly flop into a pool of uh, what do you call it? Holy water. You gotta baptize herself. There's something on her that is attached to her. Maybe it can even be a hair tie. You never know. Some objects could be cursed or some objects could be the one carrying these entities. Never know what it could be. It could be a fucking pen. That's what Sam and Dean told me from Supernatural. I mean, I believe in it, but... I pay attention. 
On October 12, 2008, a YouTube channel uploaded a video for the appears to be security Elmer camera Gloom? footage being filmed at Phoenician Library, located in New York. Ah, the video, we New York. We can't see much due to the grainy nature of the video's quality, but once a few seconds passes by, something chilling occurs on screen. Take a look and see if you can spot it. Oi. If you missed it, look to the left of the screen. I saw it. It appears to be some sort of ghostly apparition moving around for a few seconds, but it is enough to scare whoever watched the tape back afterwards. I Shut saw off. a face. It could have been a person working there extremely late at night, but it could also be something much creepier than that. Never mind. Still to this day, no explanation for this video has been released. And just walks in and walks out. It's way too blurry to be a person. So I I guess. I mean the camera's low and you didn't hear no footsteps, you just hear the the whooshing noises. So that's a possibility. I would like to shout out my cigar channel. Because what I'm about to go through, just to give you guys context, this may even look big to you guys. This is a cigar. Remind you again, this is a cigar, right? I'm going to have to smoke this. Guys. I'm going to have to smoke this, my channel. Guys, look at that difference of sizes. I get like, guys, I promise buddies of mine that I would do this, and that's gonna, this is gonna take me easily two and a half hours just to smoke. Easily two and a half hours. So that's gonna be done in a couple months because there's still a few more Year of the Dragon cigars out there. Um, since this year is Year of the Dragon, a lot of companies are doing Year of the Dragon themed cigars. So I'm doing my best to get my hands on every single one of them. That's gonna be the finale of this year of Year of the Dragon stuff. So subscribe to the channel. So when I get to that point, you guys can see me suffer. Also, I'm trying to get to a thousand because there is a very, very rare cigar I have that was signed by the maker that I'll have to review at number 1000 for subscribers. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's reaction. Next part will be the very final part. Let's get ready for that. Hope you guys enjoy. As always, I love your faces and I'm out. Peace.